watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today I have a new face on Greater Brockton. I have Jill Gordon, who's a registered dietitian with the Center for Youth Wellness. Welcome. Welcome. Nice Thank to you. see you. Thanks, Thanks for coming to Brockton. Absolutely. I know you met Jay Miller at an event that we were, we were covering and uh, indicated an interest in coming on. So tell us about what you do at the Center for Youth Wellness. Okay, so the Center for Youth Wellness, first of all, is associated with Floating Hospital mm -hmm. at Tufts Medical Center, and I'm a registered dietitian there. And what we do is we have created a, a teen weight and wellness program. So a teen weight and wellness program that we go into the communities. Right now we're in a few different locations, but we're going to focus right now here, we're in, right here in Brockton mm -hmm. at the YMCAs. So the program is a two-hour program okay for teenagers mm -hmm. who are ages 11 to 18 and the goal is for them to focus on nutrition mm -hmm. first hour is nutrition and the second hour is physical activity and it's over uh, it runs over the course of a 10 week period so Mark, the goal really is to empower youth to help them facilitate a healthy lifestyle and make positive lifestyle changes well, let me tell you something. Um, I know it goes all the way from the White House down. Michelle Obama's mm -hmm. been a real fitness guru and nutrition and talking about childhood obesity and everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think the teen years where teens are very self-conscious of image and things like that, I mean, this is a big help. I, I mean, I haven't heard about another program like this in, in a while. It's very unique, and I think one of the things that makes it unique is the group concept. Mm -hmm. um, like you alluded to, teens are very self-conscious, and quite frankly, um, don't want to be told things by their parents, right? right. <laughs> right? That's if someone the, else tells them they're all set. They don't want to be told by their parents, them. right? So the group setting really allows them to learn in a supportive environment and be with other teens, and they can feel like they're, they're like some, someone else is like them. You know, mm -hmm. someone else can relate to them. And so it's supportive and nurturing. And so that whole one-on-one -on -one without, you know, we remove the parents... Um, I think is quite, quite unique. Well, I'm looking at this. You get a good brochure. Coolest weight and wellness program for <laughs> teens. Okay, and it's it cool. seems it pretty cool. simple. <laughs> Ten weeks. Tuesday, it says Tuesdays, three thirty to five thirty. Yep, Tuesdays is where our Brockton location is, three thirty to five thirty. I am the dietitian who actually teaches the nutrition portion, and the nutrition portion covers, you know, the foundations of healthy eating. Obviously, that's the nuts and bolts bolts piece but also in addition to that you know we focus on other areas of you know whether it's label reading or mm -hmm. grocery shopping but even taking it to a bigger picture of stress and time management mm -hmm. you know as well because those are all other factors that you know can facilitate you know weight gain and obesity and issues the other thing that we also you know really focus on is goal setting mm -hmm. um, um, we really teach um, the teens that in order to make positive change we need to set goals and walk them through a real nice, you know, goal setting model and they have to create different goals throughout the program. Well, this looks even better because it says free three month YMCA <laughs> membership. Free, right. And chance for weekend pro Free. Yes. How could you beat that? Yes, exactly. When um, the kids join the program, um, they are able to, in the Brockton Y, they're able to participate throughout the 10 weeks um, for a free one-month membership, three, I'm sorry, free three-month membership throughout the duration of the program. Also, if they have perfect attendance, mm -hmm. they get an additional month wow. free. Per the, the, there you go. You don't just get the gold star for perfect attendance. Right. You get to stay on right. for a fourth month, and, and that's a, a great benefit from the Y. And we do have, as you said, like as it said, we do have, you know, prizes throughout and incentives for the kids and different things. So what's the, um, is this a new program or has it been going on for a little bit? Um, it's been going on for a few years. Don't absolutely quote me on the duration, sure. mm -hmm. um, but it's been around for a few years. You know, we keep getting out into different communities. Brockton's one of our newer locations. Okay. You know, it started off, um, we have a program in Boston where we're, where we're located, mm -hmm. also in Lowell, Metro West, and now Brockton. So. Hey, it's another good thing for Brockton. So how would people find out more information? I'm sure there's a website, a phone number, all of that kind of stuff. You want to tell us what that is? Absolutely. We'll put it up on the screen. You can put it up on the screen. So, yes, if um, the first step would be to call and schedule an appointment um, because kids would need to come in and be, um, come in and be assessed mm -hmm. by a psychologist, a doctor, as well as a dietitian. Mm -hmm. So that's the first step is an assessment. Um, and then they follow up with, you know, the 10-week program. So the phone number... Um, to schedule that appointment would be 
636-3381. And the website is www.floatinghospital.org slash CYW, the Center for Youth Wellness. There you go. That couldn't be that couldn't be easier than that. So um, you've been involved in this in a little while. Are you enjoying it? You know, I, I love it, Mark. I love it because what happens is you really see these kids feeling that they can do it. I think the biggest positive um, and enjoyment for me is really seeing these kids realize that they are capable. Again, going back to that word, I use it over and over, but empowerment. Mm -hmm. I think they need to realize that they are capable of making changes. A, they're, they're not alone, and they, they really have it within them to do it because, they're get, let's face it, they're getting older, they're teenagers. Parents aren't going to be with them mm -hmm. at all times. We need to give them the tools mm -hmm. and the skills to be able to make their you know, own decisions. Mm -hmm. and really show them that they can. So seeing those changes throughout the 10 weeks is... And I would think, I, I teach at Massasoit Community College, and okay. when we get a group of kids together, they're in a, in a sense, in a, like a support therapy group. They support each other, because let, let's face it, kids can be mean to each other. I mean, especially with social media and Facebook, and even the ones that right. I'm not, I don't know about because I'm older. I, you know, kids, right. it's not Facebook anymore. It's something else. Instagram, um, maybe. Instagram, I don't whatever know. <laughs> it is. But, they can, but in something like this, I'm sure they build some partnerships and friendships, and, and, and maybe they come back and Absolutely. even get inspired to do this no, type of that, work. No, that's, um, you bring up a good point. Just to um, also take it after they, you know, they're assessed, and they also go, they go through the 10 weeks. Mm -hmm. And after that, we have what's called a um, maintenance group. Mm -hmm. So it's a monthly meeting that the kids are able to get together again. And as you said, continue the relationship, continue the support, continue to work on goals, and those are typically on Saturday mornings. Mm -hmm. So they keep connected. We also have the kids come back to the Center for Youth Wellness in Boston for a three-month and 12-month follow-up because that's so important part of the process. You know what I mean? We had a, you know, it's not just the 10-week program. Mm -hmm. right? We can't make changes just with a 10-week program. We, that's right. the launch pad. Right. That's just the launch pad, but we have the assessment before, we have the program, and then we have a way for them to continue to connect and follow up appointments to mm -hmm. you know, track their progress, as well as, as well as follow up with their primary care positions as well. well I'm not going to put you on the spot, but I think we have to come and see some of it for ourselves and maybe do a little video PSA to go along with it. We'll ask. Get the permit. You got to get parental permission for all this because the kids uh, can't just sign up on their own because they're up till they're eighteen. They're minors. Right. They give me the one minute cue. Okay. So, Jill, sell it. Tell it in your own words. Thirty seconds or less. Look at the camera. Tell the community, the kids, why they should be involved. All right, you kids, you guys. This is amazing. Health, health is so important. We allow you to come in and meet other kids, kids that you can relate to. You can learn, you feel empowered, excited to you know, set some goals, um, do some physical activity, move your body in ways that you probably haven't even ex exposed yourself to, whether it's yoga or tai chi or um, you know, street hockey or cardio and strength training. So really allowing yourself to do different things, get cool prizes, don't forget the prizes. And free. Free, mem free membership, so it's awesome. Thanks, Joe. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. And um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.